back with another video today and as you can see I have a slate blue 2016 LML Duramax behind me this is my dad's truck the one I've been talking about for a while I haven't showed you guys yet I actually did get some footage of it the other day but when we actually swapped out his other wheels for my old sodas and put it on the truck which I'll show you guys here in a second but I actually lost all the footage the footage was actually terrible and I lost it because I deleted it so it was that bad. For some reason, the audio was going up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't know if my hand was maybe covering the actual speaker on the phone, but I mean, I'm currently using my phone right now to do all these videos. I do plan on getting a newer camera here in the near future to up the quality um, of all the content I've been making. But I just wanted to jump in with this YouTube channel and get it rolling. So that's the current status of where I'm at. But as far as this truck goes, I'm gonna do a little walk around of it to show you guys what's done to it, what it looks like. As you can see, it's completely paint matched. It's beautiful. The reason I'm starting this video today is because I'm about to bring it next door and right here is about to be a change on the truck. It's gonna look amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Once it gets done, I'm gonna be filming it like crazy to show you guys how good this thing looks. If you guys have seen all the videos on the channel, the second video I actually referenced and showed you guys what was coming for this truck as far as the hood goes. So you guys may already have a clue of what's going on here. If you're just tuning in, you guys will see in a moment. But the plan is to get a new hood on this thing. Let me turn you guys around so you guys can see what's done to it. So as you guys can see here, this is a slate gray metallic color, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, so don't take my word for it completely. But I'm pretty sure it's slate gray metallic, and to me it looks blue. My dad has always loved this color. Uh, his, his last truck he had that was a 2011 was the same color. And when they came out with it on this body style, it changed, and I personally believe, for the better. Now, in 2016 was the last year that they offered this color. So I think that's one of the huge reasons why he hasn't got a new L5P, along with you not being able to delete them. Now this color with an L5P hood would look killer, which may be what you guys will see here by the end of the video. When my dad was actually looking into getting a new L5P, he was looking at the dark slate metallic color, which is close to this in a way, but it's actually a lot darker than this color, and he wasn't a huge fan of it. And to get something that's pretty much the same truck that's not a new body style, and he has to get a color that he doesn't like more than what he has now, not a huge reward as far as that goes. And of course, this truck is deleted, which you guys will see here in a second. So this truck currently has a five inch exhaust, tunes from PPEI, has a cold air intake under the hood, which note here is going to change in the near future. There's big plans for this truck, um, which you guys will love to see. As far as the lift goes, it does have a CST lift. As you guys can see here, it's extremely clean. CST lift, Fox shocks, cognito control arms, the whole nine yards. We did put a extended drive line in it as well, so it doesn't vibrate in four wheel drive. He does currently have 22 by 12 soda Nova canes on a 35 inch Nitto trail grappler, which is extremely aggressive looking. These are freshly put on the truck for the longest time, pretty much for 99% of this truck's life. He had 22 by 10 fuel flows on 35. And for me, as you guys can see, as crazy as I am with stance, I did, I wasn't a huge fan of it. So when I took the sodas off my truck, I was able to convince him to slap these on because he loved the wheels anyways. He had them on, on an LBZ that he had and he really liked them. So it was a pretty easy transition and I think it really helps this truck stand out and look a little more aggressive on the road and not look like it skipped leg day. As far as clearance goes, we had to trim the valence a little bit. As you can see, it did rub there a little earlier today when he was turning in somewhere. So we're gonna figure out what, figure out what we have to do there, but he really does not wanna trim the bumper at all. So we're gonna do all we can to not have to do that. It does clear completely back here. He can go full lock with this setup here, which is good. And he is definitely not a fan of, of driving somewhere and not being able to turn full lock, which as you guys know, doesn't really bother me as much. So aside from it being deleted, he has a 22 by 12. He has a CS CST six to eight inch lift kit. It is completely paint matched in the front end. This is not a high country. It is an LTZ, but it was all chrome in the front. So you can see it's completely painted. Looks beautiful. Got the orange reflectors and in, in the headlights tinted so they don't stick out as much. The bow ties painted, looks beautiful. He did do the Rigid Industries fog lights, just like I have in mine, and paint match those as well, which are awesome. Those things are killer at nighttime. I mean, honestly, I think they're brighter than, than the high beams. As far as the mirrors go, these lenses here are tinted, the mirror caps are painted. He did not want to paint the plastics, which I honestly think looks really good on this truck. Um, with the little bit of black he has on the front, the black wheels, the black on the mirrors, I think this color in black looks killer. Now he does have the amp steps, which I wish my truck had. I just can't bring myself to spending $1,100 on steps. As you, as you guys can see, black leather interior, completely loaded. Out back, 
He has paint match bumpers, paint match tailgate latch, paint match bow tie, black letters swapped out from the chrome ones. And he does have the half ton high country LED taillight conversion as well. And those are tinted. Now I do have another video. I haven't uploaded this yet, but I have another video explaining these taillights, how they work on these trucks. I had them on mine as well, as you can see from previous Instagram posts. Those are the taillights I've had on for the longest time. Mine weren't tinted, but on the 15 and 15 and a half HD trucks, they don't plug right in. If you have a 16 or newer and then you have a Chevrolet and you get these taillights, they will plug right in and work completely fine. Now, the reason why they didn't plug in for, for mine was because the actual module up underneath here where they plug into the truck was different. So I actually had to wire mine different and actually get them to work, which in the other video I have, I do explain how I made them work. And I plan on uploading it here in the near future once I get my other taillights on the truck and I can go from having these taillights to my new taillights and just make it all one video. Aside from that, the truck doesn't have too much more done to it. Of course, it has tint, it has a flip bed cover on it, it has a bed liner, things like that. But as far as going crazy with building headlights and mirrors and, all, and everything like that, my dad's seen the issues I've had with those and he's more of a practical type guy as far as wheels and, and just the operations of the truck, not throwing LEDs under the seat and halos in the headlights and things like I've done that sometimes bring up more issues. So I, I can definitely say what he has here rides completely smooth, no vibrations, everything works when it should. I do kind of wish I had that simplicity to mine as well. But then again, I like to be outside the box and just go a little crazier on different things. So I stand out just a little more. Now, what I can say as far as this color here, I love this color. He loves this color, like I said. But this thing paint matched with this new hood that's going to be slapped on this thing is going to be the only one like it around. Of course, with the silver trucks, I've seen a couple that look just like mine on Instagram. All paint matched, mirrors done, wheels, everything like that. I haven't seen many trucks in this color that are going to look the way his is going to look. Which, in a way, I'm a little jealous of, but you know, hey, I still love mine. So I'm going to bring this truck over to the shop right next door that does all the paint work for us. And we're going to get this hood slapped on the truck and show you guys what it looks like. Got the truck back over here and boom as you can see the hood is back on the truck this is the l5p hood swap everything is done underneath it as well and man does it look killer 
Especially with a lift kit, I think it really helps the front of the truck look even beefier. I'm gonna pop the hood and show you guys what it looks like underneath and do a little walk around of it as well so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna show you guys that this hood is literally a direct swap out. Bolted on everything that comes with it from the factory, whole drainage tank for the water separator and the air intake running up, under, running up underneath and around the hood. Everything fits and there was no issues. And something you guys maybe have not noticed yet is this color was not available from 17 to 19. So if you think about it, people riding around on the street that have no idea of the color options with these trucks that have a 17 to 19 are gonna be extremely confused when they see this hood on this truck and they don't know about people swapping hoods and everything and they're gonna say, how did he get that badass color? And as you guys can see, this has the whole underlining of an L5P hood down to the intake, down to the water separator, and everything fits with zero issues. Right here when the air comes in the hood scoop and comes down here and comes around here, it will pick up some water if it's raining and you're you know driving 60 mile an hour. So this little right, this little knob right here will actually open up like so and drain out water straight down to the ground there. So whatever water gets drained out there, the rest is just air, comes through there, has a little heat protection shield there, comes through there, comes out this hole here, and when the hood's shut, it'll go into an intake. Now, of course, with this PPEI intake, this hood really isn't doing anything. But here in the future, as far as the plans with power go, you will see that even without this here, this hood will actually be helping in a way. Don't want to give away too much yet, but you will see in the future here, this is going to change vastly. So that does it for the video today, guys. I'm super happy I was able to get something together for this truck, especially getting this hood on here and seeing how it looks. I hope you guys love the way this looks. There is another one next door for another silver truck that's in the shop over here with this same mod. And I plan on getting that, getting that on later today, possibly tomorrow, something like that, and getting a video up on that one as well. So I just wanted to really get this truck in a video before it gets too far with mods because we got the new wheels on here, the 12 wides, got the hood on here. Like I said, I lost all my other footage, so I'm super stoked I was able to get everything in this one video and you guys can see what truck I've been talking about as far as my dad's, and you can see it is killer. So whether this is morning, afternoon, nighttime, whatever it is, hope you guys had a great day. Take care and stay tuned. I got a lot more planned, a lot more dropping soon. And thank you guys for watching.